welcome to the first playthrough on this channel, guys. Hope you're going to enjoy this one. As a Norwich fan myself, there's only one team we could be. Norwich City. We've got the Norwich tracksuit top here. We've got the Norwich shirt there. Let's go. Let's see what they say. We're going to go straight into this. So, Norwich City hire Hoon. Norwich have today confirmed the appointment of Looney Hoon as the new club's manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 29-year-old. Yeah, I am 29 who has recently spent time away from club football and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Carroll Road. Hoon has put pen to paper on a two-year deal worth £41,500 per week. I'm probably going to be the most expensive person at the club at that. I can't see many players earning more than that. He replaces previous manager Daniel Farker. Rest in peace, Farker. He's not, he's not dead, he's just gone. Hoon lacks the reputation of survival specialist given the club's current ambitions because that's what we want to do we want to survive it creates an intriguing dynamic as they intend to retain their place in the division that is what we are going to do that's the first season that's all we're aiming to do is stay up we don't want to get anything else 17th will be fine as you can see here media prediction is 19th it's not good enough we will not accept it so yeah we're just going to look around a little bit about the club this is for everyone else i know pretty much everything about the club i'm a bit of a norwich expert Self-proclaimed. But yeah, so founded back in 1902, Norwich City are a professional club. Currently playing in the English Premier Division, we all know that. The Canaries rather memorably tasted Skybet Championship title glory in 2019. Yes, we did. It was it was glorious. But yeah, we play at Carroll Road, obviously, as people know. Possess great training facilities, excellent youth facilities. The club's training ground is Colney Training Centre. The Norwich youth team play at Colney Centre. The club also has adequate academy coaching and adequate youth recruitment network, which is not amazing. We're going to try and improve on that. The club is affectionately known as the Canaries and retains a fierce rivalry with Ipswich Town. Wouldn't call it fierce. They haven't really beat us in 10 years. But yeah, we'll move on to this. Obviously, Stuart Weber is the technical director. He's very good. Uh, this is the team report of the best 11 Pretty much the team we played last year in the championship, apart from we didn't have Ralph Farman, we had Tim Krull. Um, Leitner and Tribal would be my two. Maybe Todd Cantwell and Hernandez, they can battle it out. Uh, these are the transfer ob obligations we've got. We've uh, loaned Patrick Roberts, Ralph Farman and Ibrahim Amadou. We're on loan out of the club, we've got James Husband, Sean Raggett, Louis Thompson, Rookie and Bullwinkle. Carlton Morris, Savas Morgos, who I'm unsure who is. Uh, Charlie Gilmore, Dialang, Yalismi, no idea who he is, and some more. We've got quite a few players out on loan. We'll ignore that. We don't need to see that. So here we go. We're going to have a little chat with Delia. Um, this is the club vision for the next five years. So the club culture, develop players using the club's youth system. I look to do that anyway. Play possession football. We can try that. And sign players under the age of 21 for the future. I do like a wonder kid. It's got to be said. Um, so the five-year plan. Ongoing work within the wage budget. Uh, finances aren't the best thing at Norwich. We, we haven't got a lot of money. So we're going to do our best to try and keep the budget down. Um, end of this current season. They want us to fight bravely against relegation. So I don't think they will mind if we do get relegated. But we will not be relegated. I promise you. They want us to get to the fourth round of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Which is fine. Uh, next season... Just attempt to remain in the division again. So for the next two years, and possibly three or four, so the next four or five years, all they want is us to stay in the division. As long as we can stay in the division, they'll be happy. We won't be. We want better than that. We're going to try and push for European football about three, four years in, hopefully. Uh, we won't do any of this. We'll just skip straight through this. We'll just have a little quick look at the team, meet the team and stuff. We'll save it there, and we'll carry on. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do this, guys. I'm uh, just going to go around the club, have a little look at things for the first episode, and then in the second episode, we'll get into the games. We'll start buying some players, maybe offloading some dead wood. There is a couple of players I wouldn't mind getting out of the team, but nothing too bad. We'll accept the current vision. We looked at it. We like it. It's fine. Uh, Pre-season preparation. Heavy, yeah. You want to get fit as you can. Uh, just the transfer news from around the world. We will go around now and have a little look. This is the team. So the most valuable players is Timu Puki and Emi Buendia. Not the best players in the team. Timu Puki is quite far down the list, which is a little bit strange. Um, we'll have a little look at the tactics tomorrow on the next episode. We're just going to go around, like I say, look through the team. Uh, Ibrahim Amadou is apparently the assistant's 
choice at the best player at the club. Definitely not in real life. He's been very, very average for us, but he looks good. He's very solid. Can play half back, ball winning midfielder, or defensive midfielder comfortably. He can even slot in at centre back if he needs to. He's got all the attributes for a centre back, to be honest. We'll have a little quick look at Emi Buendia. This man is going to be the spark in the team. He is going to be the creator. He's going to be the player we look to create things, set up the goals, and ultimately give the ball to Team Ipuki to slot it in. Talking about that man, this is the Finnish god. Very good finishing. Mainly plays as a deep line forward. I'm not 100% sure I'd agree with that. More so this season than last season because he didn't really have to come deep last year as we dominated most games. This year, obviously, being in a better league, we will struggle more. Uh, other good players, Christoph Zimmerman, out for five weeks to two months. Not good. As people have been seeing in real life, Norwich not performing very well. Yesterday was Christoph Zimmerman's first ever Premier League start and we won 2-0 away at Everton. Not going to say anything, just going to point out, show you the facts, let you let you take them and interpret them as you want. Max Ahrens, a very, very good player. One for the future. I'm sure we'll have a lot of big teams coming in for him. Uh, we will not be selling. I'm going to try and keep him and the uh, core of the youngsters, Max Ahrens, Ben Godfrey and Jamal Lewis. We're going to try and keep them three as a core. They're the players we want to keep. We're not going to sell them unless stupid money comes in for it. And even then we might not. Uh, other players around the team, I'm going to try and get uh, Moritz Leitner on the team quite a lot. He doesn't look amazing in the game. He's got he's got good uh, first touch, great passing technique and vision. Got quite good flair as well. He's, some of his mentals do let him down. Not going to be too bad. I don't know. We're going, to, we're going to do our best, see how we get on with him. If not, we have got other players like Kenny McLean, uh, Mario Vrancic. He is also out for four weeks to two months, along with Hernandez. He's out three to five months. Kenny McLean's actually won him on loan by a few players. So that's interesting. Um, Tim Krull, apparently not as good as uh, Ralph Farman on, the, on this game. Tim Krull is the number one starter for us in real life. I'm going to stick with him. Ralph Farman is... Did I just see, why has he got a backup status? That is absolutely ridiculous. Ralph Farman, first choice goalkeeper. We might have to change that around. Got to trust in Tim Krull. I'm not going to sign too many players in the first season. I want to try and keep it as real as I can. Maybe we'll buy some players in January. I'm not too sure what we'll do. We'll have a little look and see how the season goes. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This is just a starter episode. We'll bring bringing you the next episode tomorrow, I promise. And we're going to... I'm going to do pre-season, and I'm going to be back for the first game of the season. Guys, if you do want to see more of this, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon.